Juniper just recently uh, unveiled its Juniper Beyond, uh, Beyond Labs initiative. And this is focused on shaping the future of network and IT industries with the goal of you know, pioneering a more research, driving more pathfinding projects, and you know, basically just spurring more uh, experimental approaches toward how technology is uh, developing. And you know, from your perspective, Clint, uh, what's your take on uh, Juniper uh, Beyond Labs initiative at this point? I, I was really encouraged by the uh, Beyond Labs initiative. I, I think for the Juniper customers and partners like Eurofiber and Intel, um, you know, along with you know, I have to say the broader academic community like Purdue University, uh, this Beyond Labs initiative should provide a great opportunity to influence research directions and pathfinding projects. Um, and some of those contributions could spur some proof of concept demos, um, the ability to provide feedback to shape the direction of that fundamental research as well. And you know, it seems that uh, the participating members should have access to Juniper Beyond Labs research and uh, and innovation along the way. So I think it's you know I think it's a nice. Uh, uh, initiative that, that really helps to expand the ecosystem and, and and really spur some some innovation along the lines of you know what we were just talking about with uh, you know the growth of new applications. Yeah, I agree fully, Clint, and I uh, think it's also important to uh, understand that this is directly applicable to five G networking and the five G e ecosystem. Um, for example, we see Juniper extending its collaboration with Intel and working on the integration of the Intel FlexRAN reference architecture, as well as private 5G networks, Juniper RAN intelligent controller and the Juniper cloud a native router on uh, Intel Xeon processors as a part of this initiative. And all this is aimed at enabling new capabilities that can support 5G transformation. And as additional uh, context, the Intel FlexRAN is a reference architecture for virtualized radio access networks, or VRANs, as well as enabling and um, advancing software-defined networking and network function virtualization across uh, 5G network fabrics. And I think this is uh, notable because Rackets and Mobile, for example, announced that it is committed to continuing with Intel's FlexRAN architecture and chip technology for layer one processing in its next phase of implementing distributed units. And this is all important for, for example, open RAN innovation, but also you know, ensuring uh, that the ecosystem has the technology in place to enable the operators and you know, all the other partners and uh, naturally the end customers to be able to take full advantage of these 5G standalone capabilities that we've elaborated on.